Hello, Rocks fans, and welcome into our weekly chat with Rocks field manager Al Newman here on the Sports Deck as we get ready for the final week of the season. But, Newman, more importantly, we've got the Dream Showcase coming up on Tuesday at Madison. They, you're coaching in along with uh, pitching coach Scott Leeser. Are you excited for the opportunity? Always. Uh, anytime the Northwest League has asked me to do it, I think this will be my sixth year doing it, and I enjoy watching guys uh, compete in front of uh, guys who make decisions. You've got Leeser going. You're also bringing in uh, Bo Henning from Wilmer. Are you excited to have the coaching staff together for the game? Well, you know, uh, Leeser sort of introduced me to Bo, and, and I know he's a competitive manager. Uh, he always has a good team on the field, and uh, they play quality baseball. So I thought, why not ask Bo to come and be part of the staff and uh, to experience it with us? I know he's got some pretty good uh, players and pitchers on the team, and so he'll get a chance to see them perform. Talking about that game compared to others, how much preparation do you do? And, and, and anything differently for that game to another, having so many players that are not on the rocks on that roster? Well, you know, I did. I started today. Matter of fact, uh, you know, I've been looking at it the last couple of days. Uh, today I kind of put guys where I thought they should play and how much playing time they should get. Uh, fortunately for the players, uh, there's only 11, 12 position players on the squad, so therefore you got a backup catcher. You got a guy that DHs and plays another position. So there will only be two bench players at this point, and uh, so it shouldn't be that difficult. It's just a matter of creating that lineup. Let's talk about our three Rocks uh, players that we have participating, Kyle Richardson, Findel Bonta-Smith, uh, and Eric Martinez, three that have been very valuable in the bullpen, and Richardson is a starter this year. Were you happy to see the three selected? Well, I, I thought there were some others that should have been in there. Uh, Evan Johnson uh, definitely, I thought, should be in this prospect game, uh, even though he is an older player. Uh, Richardson surprised me, but uh, he is left-handed, and he does have 89-91 uh, mile an hour fastball with a breaking ball that he can use. So uh, that gave him an advantage over a few people. But Bonta and Martinez are two older players uh, who are trying to play pro ball, so it gives them a good opportunity to showcase their skills. Let's talk about this opportunity for Eric Martinez that he has as someone who's already graduated college, you know, played in the Rocks organization in 15, now he's back in 18. What kind of opportunity would this provide for him, maybe over some of the other players in the game? Well, uh, he's one of those guys that the scouts know that they can sign immediately. Uh, there's nothing to, to worry about as far as schooling. Uh, he's already graduated and he's performed well in this league uh, previous to this year. And uh, Augie was very excited to give him an opportunity uh, to play with the Rocks this year, hopefully, hoping that he would get the nod for the um, um, excuse me, showcase game and then potentially get signed. And Findel Bonta-Smith has been rock solid, uh, with the pun intended there, throughout the whole season. Six saves, Numi. He's a guy who's been able to come in the ninth inning. He has less than a 1.0 ERA. I, I think he's someone very deserving as well, and his fastball is going to be showcased no question on Tuesday. Well, yes, and, uh, you know, for me as a team now, I've had to give those guys rest. But, uh, you know, Bonta, I, I want him to, to show the best he possibly can, of course, as well as Martinez and Richardson, but those two older ones, uh, this is an opportunity that they may get to to sign uh, after the season or, or right after the showcase. So, uh, Bonta Smith has quality stuff. Uh, I think his best outing of the year came against, I believe it was Mankato, or uh, where he was 93 to 95 miles an hour, and uh, he blew them away two innings in a row. So, uh, outstanding fastball with a quick slider. Um, he does have pitchability with two pitches, and as a short reliever, um, that's all you really need. And speaking about Richardson, and, and speaking of Mankato, one of his best starts of the year coming in his previous start on uh, the doubleheader in which he uh, struck out a season high. So he's got to have some confidence going into it on Tuesday as well. Yes, he does. And I think it was a surprise to him that uh, he was chosen to be on the prospect game because his first couple outings weren't the best uh, for us. Uh, but he has improved once I moved him to the bullpen and then gave him the spot start here last week, well, this week. Uh, he did very well. So I wish him all the best, of course. It's just going to be good to share the moment with him. Lastly, Numi, as we get ready for the final week of the regular season, you told the post-game interview yesterday you want the guys to just take it day by day and, and try and do the best they can with the games left. This last week, how excited are you to see the guys compete one more week here? Well, you know, I, I've had guys uh, you know, come up to me and says, hey, there's X amount of games left. I want to play them all. Uh, those are the kind of players that you want here. Those are the kind of players that I've been putting in the lineup pretty much every day all season. So um, I started preaching about two, three weeks ago about being a finisher. 
uh, that when you cross the white lines, it's important to somebody. Uh, it may not be you. You might want to take a day off mentally, but there's eight other guys out there that it means something to. So uh, still give it your all. Fight through uh, whatever you think is keeping you from giving your full attention to the game, but get it done. Numi, you're important to us. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you.